Hi, I'm Autumn. And we're going to talk about Pi for Pi Day. I'm, a, I'm Scott Baldridge. I'm a professor of mathematics at LSU, and this is my daughter, Autumn. Autumn, tell us some of the numbers of Pi, the digits of Pi. Okay. 3.141592653598972384626432789502884171971. Okay, everybody's wondering, how did you memorize that? Or why did you memorize that? Well, at first it was a dare from a friend, but I just kept on going. Just kept on going. How did The other question we're all wondering is, how did you memorize it? Well, 3.14159, I've known since I was a little kid. And 2.6, that's kind of easy to remember because I like the number 26. Yeah. 535 is like a palindrome, and those are kind of easy to remember. And so, then 8.9 is like stepping up. up. Yeah. So you're learning, you, you learn it in patterns. Mm -hmm. We were asked to talk about pi and and what it's what it means and, and who came up with it and, and things of that nature. So. Um, first, let's talk about pi. When did you learn about pi? Four, five. When you were about four and five, and we did it. We did it in the following way. So, for, uh, first, what is pi? That's that's easy. If we have a circle here, um, we look at the circle, and we ask, what's the distance around the circle? So, so if you go start here and you go all the way around, that take that distance and divide it by the diameter which is the the length that goes between goes through the center and to the other side and if you take this distance around the circle here and you divide it by this distance from here to here you get a ratio and that ratio uh, is the same for all circles so if it's circles small or if it's really big if it's the size of a planet that same ratio is going to be the same number it's going to be for all circles so then Autumn and I uh, went to the, took this, and we, you can actually do this experiment at home. So come on, let's, let's, let's go try this experiment. Okay, so take your favorite wheel, it can be a bicycle wheel, and put a mark at the bottom of the wheel, right here. And set it down, and, and give yourself a mark on the paper, on like a piece of paper, and then just roll that out, and that'll give you the distance. We go all the way back to the, to the mark. It'll give us the distance around the circle. And then the next thing we do is we take the diameters. So here's one diameter. Bottom, put that there, like that. And no, another diameter, like that. And third diameter, we go like that. And what we see is three and a little bit. And that number is pi. So we know that pi is 3.14159, but how did they find that? It's a long story, but it starts over 4,000 years ago with the people in North Africa and Middle East. And they figured out how to calculate or approximate pi just doing what we just did. But then in 2,200 years ago, Archimedes figured out a, a general way to calculate pi. That, that actually lent, was, is the beginning of calculus. And on top of that, so the Greeks were involved. And then uh, in, people from India and China worked on it in around four or 500 AD. And with a Chinese mathematician who calculated, got an accurate representation of pi to seven digits. And then fast forward a thousand years past the Middle Ages, and the Europeans worked on were, used, were using calculus, were able to get upwards of seventy-one digits. So it it took a long time, four thousand years, to go from from the beginning to kind of where we are now, where we can calculate pi to as many digits as we want. We don't really need to use all that many digits for pi because most applications, and and there's many many applications. Uh, from making wheels to gears and cars and, and, and all sorts of great stuff. Um, don't really need all that many, app, uh, many digits. So you didn't really need all those digits memorized, but <laughs> still kind of fun. And then the last thing they asked us was, uh, what are we going to do for Pi Day? 
And what we thought about, you know, like everybody says, you know, eat, eat some pie on pie day. And what do you think? Nah. What are we going to do instead? Learn some more digits? Yeah, let's learn some more digits. That's what we're going to do for pie day. Bye.